Hello, my beautiful Scorpio. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. Trying Divine Tarot. I'm trying. I'll be reading for you today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate that. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. It lets you know every time I upload a video. All right, let's get right into your reading. Hope y'all are doing good. To overall energy for my beautiful Scorpio, please. Okay. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. You might be coming out of a relationship. I usually don't do reversals, but when they come out in certain times, um, I take it as an omen and I read the energy. Okay. So it has patience. <laughs> Maybe time's up. The time is over. The wait is over, but it was also followed by the marriage card. So this could be something coming to an end in a beautiful relationship beginning, okay? Quite possibly. But I'm getting the Angel of Temperance, so that's all about divine timing and things getting worked out just the way they should be worked out and things will happen when they're meant to happen, okay? Let's read it because you also have the two of cups here. So that is coming into union with your twin cup, your twin flame. Uh, there was a recognition that happened and it's undeniable. So I feel like if either one was in a relationship that was karmic, the karmic relationship is being brought to an end and you're moving forward to the place where your heart is just being pulled to, okay? All right, we have patience. Slow down, change your attitude, and clear your mind, okay? Because this is an overwhelming decision, okay? Breakups are not easy. Separations are not easy. You don't know if you're making the right choice, but you do know at the same time. It's just the process is going to be difficult, okay? And then it has marriage, this beautiful card of two people clinking the glasses together. Um, they have a cup for you and you have a cup for them. So this is a twin flame union. It says marriage. You are attracting an emotional fulfillment and unconditional love. So you know it's your person because you love them flaws and all, okay? And there's nothing this person can do or say to change your mind, okay? <laughs> All right, let's get into it with the Kipper for patience and marriage for the Scorpio. Oh my gosh, we have community here that wanted to fly out, okay? So... Maybe breaking the news to your friends and family about this separation is really going to be difficult. Um, maybe you don't want it out in the open. Maybe it's not ready for that. Maybe, I don't know. You're placing a little too much. How do I want to say this? You're worried too much about what others are going to think of this or others are going to think of you when their opinions really don't matter at this point. What matters is what makes you happy because ultimately you have to live with yourself, okay? Um, and live with your decisions. So if you're living in a bad decision, then you're going to be in a lower vibe. You're not gonna be at your highest potential, okay? I think if you join forces with the right energy that you've been guided to come into union with, I think that it's going to bring you to um, a heightened level of awareness in your spirituality, in your feelings that you haven't felt. I think you're already feeling this already with this new energy that's entering into your life. You just don't know where to place it yet, okay? <laughs> and you might be a little worried about what your community is going to think about it. All right. Patience and marriage for the Scorpio. 
All right, so there's a message coming in, okay? It's the number seven. Seven is the number of heaven for me, but this is a divinely guided union. You've been spiritually guided somewhere, and it's going to keep pulling at you until you take action, okay? So you can start off small. I'm feeling somebody that keeps on writing a message and deleting it or typing something out and deleting it putting it in the drawer, taking it out, putting it back in the drawer, taking it out. Um, it's that temperance energy that, we, that, you know, that trying to gain balance, trying to um, figure things out. Should I, shouldn't I? But with the seven, that's a divine match. That's a divine, divine communication. And I'm, I'm thinking that you should go along with it, okay? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think if you do, a lot of positive things will come from it, okay? Um, I don't know. Do I want to take it the way that it landed? It didn't come all the way out. Oh, my gosh. I will because it's the lover's card, okay? <laughs> so I feel like you've been separated from the person that you love for a really long time. There might be an issue where there was like a, a, a break or a separation of some sort. But you really desire this person, and they really desire you. And I think once you guys get a hold of each other, there's no letting go. There's no going back, all right? So I think this is why the decision is so great. Also, the marriage card is on the board, and there's two doves that are here on the fence with this couple, okay? And you know what I say? They announce a married couple walking out of the wedding chapel and they release the doves. So this person has marriage on their mind or you do, okay? Okay, another one for the Scorpio. Oh my gosh, I'm hearing that really, <laughs> oh. oh boy, it's one of my favorite songs. Who sings it, sorry. <laughs> Uh, Blake Sheldon and I think that's his name Blake Sheldon and Gwen Stefani nobody but you that song could be playing at your wedding okay those are two complete opposites you know they come from two different like communities here but Blake Got down on that knee and proposed because that's his match. <laughs> okay. Blake Sheldon is like from that country world of musicians. And Gwen Stefani is a punk rocker. Okay. Like a pop punk rocker. But they came together. And they're a cute couple. All right. Let's see. Another one for patience. Oh my gosh. The sun just came. <laughs> All right, let's see. Another one for patience and marriage. Oh my gosh. Okay, here's the courthouse. The 23, the 2, and the 3, that's a 5. That's a big change happening. Okay, somebody wants to rush somebody to the courthouse and change their names, change the paperwork. Okay, he's walking out of there. Either these are divorce papers or this is the marriage license. Take it where it needs to be. Um, but there's some sort of court issue happening right now for either you or the cross watcher. Um, but these documents are tied together in that red thread that I talk about. That's that red thread that ties us to our past loved ones from lifetimes ago. And when God thinks it's time for you two to handle unfinished business, that's when you get brought back together, okay? So something like that could be going on. One more for the Scorpio. Okay, we have unexpected income. So there's going to be ex an exchange. It could be that little message. Somebody's going to start reaching out. Somebody's going to start flirting. Okay, somebody wants to know if you're ready, if you're single. It's ruled by the 27. Okay, two and the seven, that's a nine. 
you could be dealing with a Virgo. You don't have to be, but I'm getting like, um, I'm also getting all the single ladies <laughs> from Beyonce. Um, but there's going to be a little cute little flirty message coming your way, Scorpio. And it might come with a gift. Okay, something somebody wants to give you some something. Or this is you. Some sort of, just a nice gesture, okay? Something that's tangible, something that, you know, you can smell, taste, or touch, okay? It's like an actual item. All right, another one for the Scorpio. All right, so we have main female here, so I could be speaking with a feminine Scorpio, but you might have a choice between two lovers here. You might be, uh, <laughs> is a surprise to you to coming forward to offer a rose? Okay, this could be your community here. These could be your coworkers of the white roses or people that have approached you, but you put them in the friend zone. But there are two sincere love offers coming in possibly that want that love you and they want to present you with the red rose okay so that's exciting <laughs> all right let's get into it with the tarot what more for the scorpio we have divine timing and marriage what else can you tell us about these cards also i know i said something about the lovers and there's distance the fence also represents county lines, town lines, state lines, cross country, out of country. There's something about distance here. I don't know if you two live in the same location. But I feel like one's moving closer to the other so you can make it work. Maybe. Okay. I also am getting this. Oh, here it is. The the page of pentacles. That's an exchange. That's a little gift. Things are going to start rolling, but they're going to start out small with little gestures here and there. Okay. Because I feel like this is still a little bit of a third party situation where somebody might be working out of another relationship. Um, so the flirting might be a little on the small side, but it's going to start happening, okay? Because this little page of pentacles is going to turn into the ten of pentacles, which is representative of family, creating legacies, and having it all with the person you love, okay? But we're just here at the very first pentacle. <laughs> all right, another one for the Scorpio. That's really cute. Okay, you also could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. That's what represents this card. Okay, um, you really have to be strong at this time. Or something around Leo season is really going to start heating up. Something about the summer months. But somebody's administering a lot of strength. And it might be capturing your attention. Or this is how um, your person views you. They think that you're strong. They think that you're a leader. Okay. Something about this person tames the beast within. They make you feel comfortable. They make you feel at home. You don't mind walking side by side with this person. It's like you complement each other very well. We have a very soft feminine energy and then we have a dominant masculine energy that's like just like putty in their hand, okay? Not everybody can pet the lion, but this, this feminine is able to get close and even give the lion a hug, okay? <laughs> All right. Um, we have the devil energy. So somebody's very obsessed. Somebody thinks that Scorpio is extremely attractive, very sexy, and they want to seize and conquer. They want to be bound by this person. <laughs> okay, if that's the energy I'm reading from this devil card. Um, or they're having a hard time um, detaching from this 
energy that they feel bound to. Okay, that's possibly. The devil card also represents celebrity status, <laughs> Hollywood. It represents the government, um, huge conglomerate stuff. But this is the master, okay? This is this is like, um, okay, somebody that's in charge. You could be dealing with a Capricorn as well. But I'm really not giving getting evil vibes from this devil energy, okay? I'm getting more of somebody obsessed with making somebody theirs, even though they're still in a connection with somebody else, okay? So that's like the taboo, all right? Okay, another one. Oh my gosh. At the top of the food chain, the Wheel of Fortune. This is good karma. This is um, a beautiful blessing, a wonderful opportunity. In certain decks, it shows a king and the queen at the top. Um, but good fortune is starting to roll in for you, Scorpio. Okay. Don't give up. The wheel is moving. It might be moving at a snail's pace, but things are really going to start rocking and rolling pretty soon here, okay? Another one for the Scorpio. Oh, look at you showing out to your own reading. King of Cups, look at that. <laughs> is that you? <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to focus it in. Can you see this guy? All right. He's planning on something. He's working things out. He's heavy in his thought. He has a lot going on, but he's extremely focused. And oh my gosh, look at how his hands are. Okay. He's really, <laughs> he has plans set in motion. Okay. But the King of Cups comes in with a love offer. They come in with love in their eyes and love in their heart. And the heart on their sleeve. This is somebody that comes in with sincerity. Okay. He could be a little manipulative at times too. Like he's trying to. I don't know. He's trying to make things go in his favor. Let's say. Okay. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> another one for the Scorpio. Okay, here's the that card of distance. There was a choice between two, but somebody's being chosen, okay? There's a choice that needs to be made. It was a big decision. The two of wands also represents distance, and I know I said that with the fence, with the lover's card. But there could have been a choice between two, and I also said that regarding the main female. Now we have the two of wands and then we have the two up here. So um, a choice has been made. And I told you it's between a karmic relationship and a divine union. Okay. And you know the difference by just how you feel. Okay. What was this? Okay. The five of wands. That's competition. There might be competition for you, Scorpio, or competition for your person. Or I don't, I told you there's a choice between two lovers. Maybe you don't even know about it. Maybe there's even more. Maybe there's up to five. Okay. Like I said, there's this boss up here. <laughs> full of white roses. I don't know if you're paying any of these ones attention or you don't think that they're well suited for you. Maybe two out of the, the five. Or, you know, there's that seven again, the five and the two. That's seven. So that's the number of heaven, like I keep saying. You have a lot of thinking to do, Scorpio, <laughs> okay? All right, let's see what else. Okay, we have the Queen of Pentacles. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, but this is somebody you see as your wifey. And if it's just energy, wifey your husband, okay? So you find this person to be extremely humble, grounded, loving, nurturing, kind, fruitful 
Um, and there's an offer coming in. Okay, there's another pentacle. So this could be an engagement ring or a love offer of some sort. But this is somebody you hold in high regard. Okay, you have a lot of respect for this person and they have like a lot of respect for you. Or whatever's coming in, you're going to collaborate with this person and it's going to generate a lot of wealth. Okay, this is the queen of money. So she's very abundant. Whatever she touches turns to gold. And I don't know. Like I said, she loves to be in relationships. She is the catch. People look at her as a leader, but they also see her as a nurturer and somebody they want to bring home to mom or dad. Okay, let's do one more. Just one more for the Scorpio. Okay, so we have the Four of Swords. Something happened. I told you there was like some sort of break. Somebody was taking a break. I think this is, who is this? This might be Mother Mary in this glass, <laughs> um, stained glass artwork here. So somebody's taking a break and becoming enlightened um, and really being guided to make the correct choice. I think that's what the patience is. Look at this is a, <laughs> I know it looks a, but it's the card of patience, taking a break, looking at things from a different uh, perspective, really making the choice that you really feel comfortable with, tapping into your spirituality, listening to what um, your spiritual team is saying to you, guiding you towards. And this person is, you know, in prayer. Okay, so let's do one more. I don't want to end on that card. <laughs> one more for the Scorpio. Oh my gosh, the Empress, holy shit, could be dealing with a Taurus, you could be dealing with a Libra, but this is the queen of all queens, this is how they see you, Scorpio, they see you as the end all, be all, Empress or Emperor, okay, but I feel a divine union, this is divine energy, okay, she's Mother Gaia, she's everything, so you think the world of her, or they think the world of you, but... This is going to be a really beautiful union once this break is over, once everything is settled and finalized, things could come together the way that they're meant to come together, okay? All in divine timing. I'm going to leave it there. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate that. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. It lets you know every time I upload a video. All right, till next time, baby dolls. Ciao.